Kelly. Welcome to what is technically episode 9 of Indie Wrestling is Dead, and I'm here, Andrew Bowers, reporting from North HQ in sunny North Shields, flying through the internet waves from the banks of the River Tyne in his self-isolation inspiration station. It's the Jeff Linton of North Wrestling. It's Mr. Tom Campbell. What? Ah, Mr. <laughs> Bond, we meet again. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. He did not want to. He did not want to do Bond villain with me. <laughs> <laughs> he did not want to do Bond villain with me. Ow! <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the man who's got the coronavirus vaccination, he's found it. He's trying it. Give him a week and he'll have eradicated this damn virus off the, place of the go- off the face of the goddamn planet. It's Dr. Chop, PhD. What does that stand for, Tom? Pay his dues! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What's up, Queen? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Queeps! 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 Uh, oh, even better! Queeps! In the creep zone? Well, lads, since the last time we were sat around Pablo's dinner table, what the fuck has happened? We were joking about Tom having that lurgy, having that cough. We were talking to the never injured HT Drake, and we were getting hyped for Let the Cannons Fly 3. Now we're all in Corona Jail. HT Drake picked up an injury since we have it, and we cancel our next fucking show. What the fuck? Are we still getting paid for the next show? That's all me and Tom want to know. Oh, that's a good show, no. Max. Yeah, we haven't talked about this. Admin. No. What do we know? <laughs> no. No. I have a downside guarantee, mate. <laughs> your downside guarantee is your full time job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is helpful. <laughs> so Although what? my full time job is now been moved to my spare room. So I was going to ask, what's happening with Cultaholic? Are you all locked down then? Are you all working from home? It is business as normal in terms of watching videos. Like, everything's yeah. still going ahead as planned. But we have now uh, moved out of the offices and we are all in isolation at our own uh, homes. Uh, I'm currently sat in what was my spare room that yeah. has now become uh, the Cultaholic office. You can see just behind me, uh, we have a camera set up along with lights. Like pretty cool, though, right? Corner, it? <laughs> it does. She's a casting couch looks behind like, me. I was going to say, it looks like it looks like Chop Spare Room, circa 2010. <laughs> <laughs> and also, due to lack of a pop guard, I have oh. a sock around my Blue Yeti. There you go. My snowball. I, know, yeah. I need to find a pop guard. Yeah, so that's, we're all, we're that's all the, on the... But, but with Cold Holic, it's business as normal. Uh, keen to point that out. There's still videos going out at the normal yeah. times. Podcasts still going out at the normal <laughs> times. Just looks a little bit different. We're, we're, we're all right. And I'm at the I front line of it, fighting it. You Ooh. are, yeah. People don't know, Chop, you're, you're an NHS porter, right? Yes, I drive the medical records van. So for this, like, just for this short moment, it'll be the only time where we, you know, you've paid some dues elsewhere. We'll give you some credit for that. Corona dues. A bit. That's it now, you <laughs> fucked. That's it, done. <laughs> so, what we're going to try and do, I think, is kind of, you know, I think that like everyone else is just trying to put out as much content as possible. Um, mainly because we're going to be bored as fuck. We haven't got a show. That means we won't have had a show for like five months. Mm-hmm. We might be doing some type of something recorded wise. Um, you know, no fan, no fan show. People are doing that, but we might try and do something different. It all depends on what happens as well, because it, you know, it might turn around in you know, schools might get closed like by as soon as tomorrow, Friday. There's talk they're talking about, so we might all be locked down into not being able to gather together. But we're going to try and definitely do more of these podcasts. Definitely, we are going to put it out as much as we possibly can. But you have to also bear in mind that it's. Uh... Uh, it's a bit of a new, it's it's new yeah. territory for a lot of us. With that in mind, Bowers, yeah. when you mm-hmm. talk, 
if you could hold your mic away from your clothes because it stops it making like a, a clacking noise against you. Oh, is it? No, it's here. Yeah, I've, I've got a... Oh, is it? Oh, well, something's making... Up... Gonna... Ooh, yeah. okay. something's, something's picking up a clacking noise. I thought that was your uh, your lapel mic. I do apologise. Yeah, hang on a minute. You definitely hear like a, 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 a rubbing noise. Can you hear that, Chop? Yes, yeah, it sounds like it's that little mic on his top. Ah, that's, a bit better, isn't it? that's ten times better. There, there we go. go. Bowers has finally right. entered lads. the Corona twenty first century. Oh. <laughs> well, the last time that... I loved Corona this much, it was when they released Rhythm of the Night. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I would say is that was the first um, sound issue that was my fault. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, okay, okay. So, when we recorded last time at the Pablo Mansion. Uh, mm-hmm. Bowers and Mr. H.T. Drake decided to start pressing buttons <laughs> no, like no, they no, fucking no, usually no. do. No, 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 no. And I get home and realise one side of the microphone, which is me and Tom, was working absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. But Bowers and Howard on the other side sounded like little child mice. You so couldn't hear a bloody that... thing. So what time was it that I started working? Was it around about like... With about the 55 hour, minute mark. Yeah. And that was probably about the time that we started pushing buttons. So Maybe. it was probably the pushing buttons that fixed it. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll take the, the blame for this one, right? Because yeah. I'm the technician and I should have made sure. I'm the producer mm-hmm. of the show. Yeah. yeah. So in in all regards, for my punishment, I will take a chop. There you go. I will take a chop of anyone the cult, the creeps choose. Except Rampage oh. Brown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop you. Oh, yeah, well, but we're never going to book Walter, are we? So there you go. There's yeah. a challenge. I will take a chop on the next question of North, whatever. We have a chance. I will take a chop of whoever you want to choose. Go go wild. Do we do, are we booking we'll... Braun Strowman for the next? No. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, yeah, we've booked Jeff Capes. <laughs> <laughs> the shot putter. Yes. Oh, shit. It, it, was, shot it was unfortunate. It was unfortunate that the microphone on the mm. side of the two quietest men in the room wasn't working. But the yeah. microphone next to the two gobshites was working fine. <laughs> I think if they'd been the way around, I don't think anybody would notice any difference. Yeah, very true. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, well, I think we should put that one definitely outside of Instagram or, or Twitter. And we'll see maybe on the Discord channel. And we'll just say, look. Chop's really sorry, but he's going to live up to his name. And we'll clip this little bit as well. I'll even take the top off. Mm. Well, you know. I thought this is a, a punishment for you. No, I'm kidding. You've got a body like an angel. As Rampage yeah. was a you Former defender, Brett Angel. You're a bunch of bastards. <laughs> you, yeah. But yeah, Chop will take a chop because he ruined... A whole podcast. Don't worry about it. We only had to take, a, you know, an afternoon out of our busy lives to, you know, get. Uh, yeah, if we're doing somewhere. apologies, can I apologise to my good lady? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, because uh, uh, all was going fine in, in our planet until this morning when I woke up with a humdinger of a horrible cough. I didn't know where that was going. Uh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> I from someone and, who's had um, crabs. <laughs> I just didn't know where that was going. <laughs> they are delicious, depending on where you get them from. Um, but obviously in the times that we live in, mm. the, uh, the presence of a nasty new cough is normally a sign of, and you are done. And, yeah. and now obviously the new ruling in the UK is that if you have symptoms, then your whole house is isolated. So yeah. Alex, who had a whole week of work booked in next week, uh, is now isolated with me and oh, feel no. awful. And I... <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to apologise enough, but I will nah, certainly there's not much try. You know I mean? Well, you can't apologise for catching a cough. Unless you Do you know what I feel like? I'll tell you what I feel like. I feel like I'm playing like an M- I feel like I'm playing the life MMORPG. <laughs> and I feel like my character's just died. Like, and I'm, like, I'm now leaving my team to fight on. Like, I genuinely thought, like, I, was, I had to work for the BBC all booked in, but yeah. I was going to save the day there and I was going to do some other bits and pieces for people, but now I can't. Like, I genuinely feel like my character's died and I've run out of Phoenix Downs and I'm just now just out for two weeks. So it's, but I do, it's I do feel, in. I do feel like servers are going to go down soon. I feel like everyone's going to be the same. I think everyone's not going to be able yeah. to log on. I think <clears throat> quite soon. And it was like, that's like when we cancelled the show, weirdly, I just had this like intense anxiety the night before because it was like, fucking hell. I mean, it's not my fault. It's not anyone's fault that we're in this position. But it is, it's still a, 
this is the thing we've got to be a little bit careful of, I think. And, we, you know, there's been a couple of people I've talked about this too, is like mental health and, and how people deal with stuff. And I think we've got to be careful about how we deal with all of this, with our lives kind of like grinding to a halt. Because I'm normally quite resilient to stuff, but even before, you know, announcing that we would cancel that show, I felt awful, I felt absolutely terrible, I felt really, really guilty. Um, and, you know... It's none of our fault. No, nah, nah, just of course the way not. It fucking is. And I think um, the same with you, Tom. It's like it's just one of those things. So we will persevere. We will, we will carry crack on. on. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, in light of that, I'm just going to do a quick grapple clothing sponsor spot. Um, now we normally do it like with the music and stuff like that, but we just want to say Connor. We're supposed to be going out to WrestleMania. He had his, he had a big thing that he was going to do. I think GCW shows. Yeah. Going to do a pop up shop there. Um. So it's a really fucking difficult time for him. It's a really difficult time for everyone. But he's giving everyone a twenty five percent across the board discount at grappleclothing.co.uk with twenty five off. That's two five O F F code. So I think every oh. bit helps everybody. Um. But we know that every you know people haven't got a lot to spare and you know don't feel guilty if you also can't support you know everyone's got to kind of support themselves support each other it's it's a tough one at the minute I bet you wish you kept them toilet rolls though that we use for Shreddy though you would have made a bloody killing <laughs> Shreddy's <laughs> laughing now I could have got them up on yeah you threw them all at me the other week does it feel weird like it's it, and, and you said it at the very beginning Bowers how like last time we sat around the table I had a bit mm. of flu uh, but we were laughing and joking. The world was still ticking over, and it just feels like that. It's like weird. everything is just has just caved in on itself. It's such a weird time. But at like, the same time, the great wrestling world is the same. Nothing too much has changed between us. Like, yes, the government's telling well, we can't do stuff, but like between the three, mm. we're, we'd, we'd still be going to a show, wouldn't we? We'd still be doing things if they hadn't told us. But you know. Yeah, well, let's not get. I like to use I politics. Like to to, let's not get. I, know, I like to have a walk. There's a coffee shop I like in town. Oh, there's a coffee shop I like just up the road. I love to go and have a little cheeky coffee on when I'm having a day off. And it's like, oh, I now can't do that for two weeks. Yeah, and it it's so, and it's just, and I get it. Like this is where, like, with mental health and stuff, this is going to be a really trying yeah. time. So, like, I'm like as as much as the good lady's annoyed with me at the moment. Like, I'm very blessed to be spending two weeks with my best friend. In, yeah, the, exactly. in the grand scheme of things. And I know there's people that aren't as lucky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And well, they're, they're not uh, what best I would say is, yeah, they're that as well. <laughs> um, I but know. there's... Uh... I noticed I can't say shit today. But we were, <laughs> I've got to be good. <laughs> you have to be... Yeah, you're right. Some people aren't best friends with a better house. Oh, but but I... Um, you, I know you are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love how Chop looks around then, as if she's about to walk in. I bar- um, <laughs> the door, you can't get in my room, because I've bar- mm-hmm. barricaded myself in so the kids don't fucking run in. Oh, well, well, that's a shame. I was gonna be... But what I'd say is, and I think I speak for everybody uh, what uh, on this on this uh, podcast today, Like our doors are always open, our DMs are always slideable, our inboxes mm-hmm. are never full. Uh, do come and say hello. Do yeah. come chat. Make time. Don't shut yourself Definitely. away and feel like you're on your own. Yeah. You are a thousand percent not on your own. It's a weird time for everybody. And we're all, all in this weird together. In it together. Yeah. Yes, we're yeah. all in this together. <laughs> oh, that's the show that I, that's the show that I should put up. Uh, we're in this together. NCL three. NCL two. NCL do three. It. Does it have comms? That that does, does it have comms? No. Do you want I comms for it? I have got yeah. a shed load of time on my hands. Podcast. I don't think what we should do Watch is along. It. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So this is why I think it's also a good opportunity to kind of, you know, rethink things a little bit and try and like put our different content out there and kind of think, fuck it, right, we're all stuck here. Let's be creative. And I think this is going to be the time where the most creative kind of flourish a little bit and, and do well. Um, but yeah, we're, we're all in this. Together. And then watch I can a, add commentator onto my like job list then, can't as well. There you go. There you and go. Another one of Jews that you haven't paid yet. Hey. Put commentary on. Um there you, <laughs> you go. Even work you've, heard on it, that show? you've heard it here first. <laughs> you've heard it here first. Watch along if we're in this together. Definitely. I think it'll um, happen. And I think watch alongs are a really, really cool thing to do as well, because I think uh there was talk of popping the boys were gonna do a they wanted to do a watch along of like the last 
let the cannons fly or the first let the cannons fly or something. I, I think they said the first let the cannons fly and I was like, ew, that's <laughs> yeah, the one with the definitely, sound. <laughs> they definitely should. Oh, can we? Oh, oh God, let's do, right, I've got an idea, right? Us three are going to do this together. Us three are going to do this together, right? Yeah. Bowers, me and mm-hmm. you are going to watch the first Let the Cannons Fly main event, oh, the first scramble, man. and yeah. it's going to be your your love letter slash apology <laughs> to the wrestling world. <laughs> to Rampage Brown. <laughs> <laughs> to Rampage Brown. <laughs> we that's can do what that. we're going to do. We can definitely do that. And I think that's like... That's part of it, isn't it? It's like fuck it. Let's let's look at the stuff that we have done. I think social media for a start as well could actually become a force of good for once yes. because it does feel like social media had become a bit of a cesspit of hate and 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 just yeah. general nastiness and a bit of it was just a bit intense. So you know maybe social media can be looked at differently. I do see when I go out, people kind of treating each other a little bit differently. I see people treating themselves treating people pretty fucking badly but i see some people the normal people the nice people that who are normally nice start to kind of treat each other a little nicer if that makes sense i picked mm. up a takeaway the other day and everyone in, there's about four or five people in takeaway who would never have spoken to each other were kind of like is, is everything okay how are you how are you guys dealing like a christmas every, day yeah you know you speak to people bit. on christmas day aren't when then Bowers cleared his throat and got thrown through the window. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went, you? <coughs> yeah. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I think that's uh, like the, the underlying thing of that is, is that we're going to try, try and create a little bit more content. We've got time. It's difficult as well because there's so much going on. We don't know what's going to change day by day. Me and Chop have got kids as well. Tom's got a fucking job which relies on uh, creating content as well. Pablo. So, Pablo as well. Cat. Cat, Pablo's fine. Pablo's like, so, oh, you got two weeks, two weeks knocking around their house. Oh, yeah, oh bloody hell, I'll be kibble. I've been doing yeah. this for six months. <laughs> what about a whole life? <laughs> it's my well, life, it. mate. So bear Sorry. with us, but I think we're going to try and be quite regular through it as well. I think we're going to try and do half an hour ones rather than the big kind of two hour yeah. long spiels. We'll try and cut stuff up and put it out. We're going to try and get some yeah. special guests on. Try and get some, I think what would be lovely as well is if we could have uh, open up some communication with people who, if they're at home, if they're self-isolated, they've got any questions. It doesn't have to be about wrestling. It can just be about anything. It could be yeah. about chatting or whatever. Um, so Because yeah, this I was think... pretty simple to set up, wasn't it, between the three of us? Yeah, I, yeah. I was worried at first thing, oh, I've got to try and... But this has been pretty good. Um, <laughs> Apart if... from me not getting in, in, internet in my um, spare bedroom and having to decamp to my daughter's <laughs> bedroom. You might walk in to get some plain paper to do some drawing in a minute, but that's fine. But yeah, other, other than that, <laughs> it's been quite straightforward. I want to talk about wrestling for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a wrestling show? This is the part no, we usually... No, never again. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere ever again. I don't even think WrestleMania will happen. <laughs> what, even that's the, my professional opinion. I, I, what the behind the closed doors one? Or you Not even that one. I, oh, really? I from okay. I'm with you on this. Here's, well, here's a huge scalp, st- right? You still need a hundred odd people, won't you? To, to you need a lot of people to run that show, even with no fans, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe here's not a, a performance scalp. center. You wouldn't need a hundred for a performance center, would you? I don't know. I Sorry, believe that Vince and WWE et al are waiting for the state of Florida to shut everything down. Mm-hmm. I've heard this. Theory. Once they do that then the WWE can claim the insurance yeah. that they would that on the money they would have lost from WrestleMania. Uh, they, they have to be seen to be... This is what I understand from other sources I have. They have to be seen to be trying to put WrestleMania on. Yeah. yeah. Right? If they just say we're not doing it, then they don't get any insurance. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sponsor. Like pub, it's like the pubs and uh, restaurants and things over here where Boris, you know, other countries have just gone, right, shut down. Yeah. You can claim on your business insurance. But it's funny how our Prime Minister, who might have his hand in the pocket of some insurance companies... Oh, shit, I'm on video. I've just realised that. <laughs> he, might have the hand in the, he might be friends with some of the guys who run these insurance companies and has decided, oh, no, I'll just tell you not to go. But, you know, like, you know, you shouldn't go to these places, but we're not going to shut them down, so we're just going to let That's them. Poor now, them. And I do think with WWE, I think it's the same thing. If, if You know, if, if the government is saying people can't go to these things, then the government needs to shut these things down. And even a company like WWE, who could probably swallow a bit more, you know, a bit more of this cost up, but they're a fucking, their costs are massive, by the way, so they're probably due to lose a hell of a lot of money anyway. They should be allowed to um, claim it on their insurance. But this could come into our favour as well. If you think about it, 
because they use stadiums in April, March, when the football season in America is not used. So, mm. when do our stadiums not get used? Summer. June, July, yeah? We could get Summer WrestleMania. Summer Slam at Wembley. We could, well, it could happen. It could happen. You could I get still, WrestleMania at Wembley. Is, the rumour is, the rumour is, and here's another gow, uh, the rumour is from some sources that I know, should WrestleMania not go ahead, mm. uh, there is talk that they will hold it in June at Madison Square Garden because they yeah. had an MSG mm-hmm. house show that they've just cancelled. Mm-hmm. They yeah. want to keep in really good favour with MSG <clears throat> because obviously AEW and New Japan are sniffing around. Yeah. Uh, there is a possibility that they could, if WrestleMania doesn't happen in the way that it's going to happen, and I kind of hope it doesn't, um, the plan is a big... F- no, it'd be really weird. The plan is rubbish. a big feel-good... Uh, restart of the wrestling world in June at Madison Square Garden and then Drew McIntyre standing tall winning of the WWE title at MSG. That already Amazing. gives me a bit of goosebumps. Yeah. I'm alright with that. The other thing oh, yeah. as well is, is all of the independent, especially when mainly American independent promotions that uh, fly into WrestleMania weekend and use that whole weekend as like their jumping pad for the whole fucking year. And financially, yeah. like... The kind of it's again, if you look at football and with coronavirus, and they're talking about you know suspending or calling the season null and void, I won't get into that now. I've got a hell of a lot of I've got a lot of opinion on that, but we're not a football. Stay tuned for Andrew Bowers football podcast (laughs) launching this week, strangely. (laughs) But we've got, um, you know, if you look at football, fine, you know, Liverpool and whatever. What about the grassroots? What about you know, they're not getting their match day income coming in at the minute, so what the fuck? Do they do? But they're still paying right. their pitch fees and shit like that, which is harsh for them. They're still, everyone's got to pay the bills, yeah. everyone's got to pay the mortgages, everyone's got to pay the staff. Simple as that. So it's the same with WrestleMania as well, though, where it's like, what about the independents who had put, I think there was that WrestleCon or something like that, they've had to cancel something. Oh, this is and the terrible. Guy's so the... To, the guy's having to sell his house or something. <sighs> well, this is the, the guy who runs WrestleCon. It gets worse than that, because the guy who was putting on WrestleCon... Uh, cancelled the show and, and mm. contacted the Marriott about using their uh, their insurance cover because they had a, an insurance thing in place for the Marriott to say if the event can't go ahead, they get the money back. The Marriott turned around well, one of the one of the spokesmen for the Marriott for that particular brand for that particular mm. branch uh, sent an email back saying actually we're not going to action that because we do believe you still can technically put the event on and if you cancel you owe us $118,000 which is madness now by by the time this goes up chances are that's been sorted because this was an email as it transpired that came from somebody within that branch of the Marriott who was doing yeah. their job um so by now the the greater the greater gods at Marriott have heard this and no doubt no doubt, and I, and I, even in these troubled times, I hold out faith in humanity. No doubt, mm. they have, they have gone. All right, let's waive that. You hope See so. you soon. Really, really hope, hope so. so. <laughs> well, it's, it's this thing again. It's, it's like, what, like, and again, we're not getting to this. But what is the fucking point? Paying exactly. Insurance. Well, it's, yeah. well, it's kind of, it's kind of. Obviously, hotels are losing out a lot of money. Like all yeah. these places are losing money. So I think suddenly you're going to have. Oh, my camera went off. Sorry, let me just turn that back on. Uh, you're going to have a lot of businesses yeah, that, are, right. that are suddenly going to struggle, like hotel chains. Yeah. So I guess for them, it's trying to recoup as much money as they can. So if they can, if they can possibly... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm plugging my thing in. It's all gone horribly wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I thought Pablo jumping at me <laughs> was going to be the bad part of the show. But um, if... Um, if 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 a, if a hotel can recoup like hundred thousand mm. dollars, then it kind of offsets a lot of their other financial woes at this point. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's still in the same time, it's still a real dick move during a horrible yeah. time. Yeah, and I think that's like the vibe for that for me is like let's all not get in pissing contests. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Tom's camera's just falling over. Let's I'm having getting... a great day. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get in pissing contests because and I can, and you know what I'm not going to name any names. And I've been sent some screenshots of stuff, but there are people who are getting in pissing contests to put out content and not copy content. And those people, I got, I, I, I don't think they're going to be listening to this. But if they are listening to this, they know okay. who they are. You know what I mean, I mean that's sorry, I'll said. just say what I want. To <laughs> they said that to us, but you know, good, good on you because if you're just looking at this as an opportunity to kind of get your brand or your product over. 
okay, you know, good. We should Go all on. be used. Right. We should all like. We should all be That's like as you as you said at the start of this. We should all be looking for that opportunity mm. to 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 expand content in one way, shape, or another. We should really but, be but sort for of, we no reason really... other than to do it for for the for the yeah. love of creating stuff. I think the one thing that I'm missing the most is not putting on a wrestling show. It's got nothing yeah. to do with trying to jump the you know jump ahead of any uh, anyone else. And like you know we did we did the stuff um with uh, refunds and foregoing refunds if if you if you were lucky enough to be in a position to forego a refund and give it to somebody who relies on on that ticket uh, for money. Like but we can pay all of our refunds back. We've got no problem in doing that mm-hmm. because we've got the money in the bank because mm-hmm. we've been responsible because we didn't ever want to get to this situation where, well, I don't, where I owe anyone fuckloads of money. So I mm-hmm. then don't want to be in a position now where we're like, we're going to create content that's better than you. And it's it, like, look, we're just going to There's bigger issues. Some... Yeah. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Correct. We all, need to, we all need to rise above it right now and be Correct. better people for it. I think so too. And I think the case, what we're trying to do is just continue North and we love North and we know that there's other people who do and it's just, our, and you know, and I want everyone else, every other promotion out there to do exactly the same thing. So anyway, that's my soapbox moment. We've talked about WrestleMania. We've talked about why we're creating content and we've talked about coronavirus and everything. Let's talk about the other biggest thing that happened in wrestling. And it was the last bit of live wrestling that all three of us saw. And it was Mr. Tom Campbell's in-ring debut, <laughs> main event wrestling <laughs> in Long Bend. Chop splicey splicey in the code breaker <laughs> slash lung blower that I took off HD Drake. Oh my god. That was a time. God. That was it. I was quite proud of the lung blower. <laughs> oh, I mean, my. is it mad that that's probably going to be... I mean, I got really really quite drunk oh, sorry i got really really quite drunk that show because it's really rare that i go to like live wrestling so it was like my first mew show so i sat up with uh i ended up sitting up with rory coyle because i got there way too late didn't have a seat we sat up in the embarrassed kind of, seats i was looking down i didn't want to yeah. sit on the riffraff <laughs> yeah no i didn't want to sit on the heater i was sitting on the heater and it was fucking boiling I was uh-huh. you had the heat you, away from the heater exactly <laughs> and uh I think pretty much because I got very drunk. Although there was a fucking great match between uh, Adam Maxted and and Ron saying that uh, yeah. Ahmed, that was fucking yeah. brilliant. Um, my last real memory of the whole thing was Tom Campbell in the ring. How did you enjoy it, Tom? Do you know what? Um, behind the curtain on all this, uh, it was something I was dreading for quite a while. <laughs> uh, quietly dreading because uh, yeah. I am not in shape, and I got quite <laughs> as you as you heard from listening to the podcast. I got quite poorly uh, mm-hmm. at the start of this year. Basically, from the moment I turned thirty six, I've just been ill. Um, which is like I've not been ill for like thirty years, and, and now it's like my whole body's gone. All right, getting old You're now, old boy. Now. Yeah, yeah. Here's all the illness. Have it all. Have some coronavirus <laughs> on top of that. Why not? Um, <laughs> Definitely our age. But, like. That's it, isn't it? It's just creeping up. Right. But I was nervous. I was really yeah. nervous. Um, but I genuinely and, and and Alex echoes my good lady echoes my uh, my sentiment here, where it's like I I was in, interacting with H T Drake. Yeah. And I couldn't have been happier about that. If yeah. it had been anybody else, I would have been more nervous. Yeah. He's the man the that The fact you that want... I'm in there with a guy like H.C. Drake. Mm. Who, He's the man you want just... when you punch him in the bollocks, though, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think, Chop, you saw this, so you should tell this Fuck, story. brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going through a show. Do we pull the curtain back too much? Go on, we'll do it. Cause yeah, it's not everyone knows. If re- okay, okay, right. Wrestling is fake. <laughs> If you didn't know that, he just said continue. That. If you didn't, that. if you didn't, then Not it's me. fine. He continue. continue. Wow. Uh, like we, he was going for a match, and I wanted to just like stand to ringside, listen to what what they were going to do. I was I was really interested in how it was getting put together. Um, and Tom says, "Well, I need to learn to take this cold breaker move." So how it says he show you how to do it. First attempt, perfect, absolutely perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better cold breaker. Absolutely perfect. And then he, uh, he goes, can I just do it one more time, please, Howard? Just to make sure I know where, where I'm at and, you know, where I need to be positioned. Howard says, yeah, no problem, no problem. Comes in for the second one. Boom! As he landed, he punched him. He was looking for his fist on the mat. He punched him in the dick. In the dick. Howard then rolls to the outside. We're like, hey, you took a pretty good cold breaker there. You all right, Howard? He went, 
me a check to make sure my two boys are still here. We bought a minute. You winded HT Drake. Nearly stopped him from giving making kids. <laughs> And I was bawling oh, with, with yeah. fucking tears, mate. It was so funny. It was, but it was like, oh, bless. Because we didn't want to try not to laugh in your face as if to say, ha, Tom fucked up, Tom. Because we didn't want to make any more nervous than God knows what you would have always. So we were like turning around, just crying with laughter. And how I was like, yeah, it's fine. Absolutely oh, fine. It's fine. It's a true pro. But he was aced. Even after he was, that, he yeah. was still like, look, if you, if you punch me in the balls on the night, uh, it's fine. Just take you it how you need to it. take it. Yeah. Just do what you need to do. Uh, but it went all right. I and really it was the first time it. I've ever seen you in training us. <laughs> I don't know if you thought this. Always, I look, I've never seen him in training us before. He always wears shoes and, a sh- and like bloody... I'm always well dressed, then. Yeah, I? very well dressed. Always very Apart from today where I went a night, night well, ride. He had like these multicoloured trainers on, you know, like Shane McMahon would do. Like you'd yeah. come up with these proper uh, super duper trainers. I was like, he's definitely going for a course to course. I saw them. Trainers, I like, saw them in um, in a in a, in a sports shop, and I went, you? they are they are neon white. I'm gonna look like a dick if I wear them. I'm having them. I'm not <laughs> blinking. Whoa, whoa! I was I I like them. Try to say I'd look a dick if I wore them. Oh, great! You, you pull the, you pull them off. I just look <laughs> like an ass. You pull well, them off, mate. He's you just, you see off. how he's just I passed can't. me there. He's like, he's a boy man. that will work in class twat would look like a shithead in these trainers. <laughs> she has That's missed. not what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I've seen Chop. I have seen Chop in both trainers and in a full suit. And Chop is the sexiest man walking. Like, in anything. Like, I'm blessed in the sense that I've got one look that I pull off. Oh, God! It's all gone wrong! <laughs> can't pull that camera I've, off, though, can you? <laughs> oh, I tried my best. He said pull off. Have you ever um, noticed that I mine's do. working absolutely fine? There's no problems with my microphone. My camera's absolutely spot on. Yet yeah, these two look clowns. I've had, uh-huh. we went through a run through yesterday. It went absolutely fine. I'll give you a run through. going down towards that dick area. I was like, it's not that sort of video, lads. You know? <laughs> I, what I was trying to say is, I have one look that I pull off really well. You have multiple looks that you pull off excellently. Thank you. Thank there you. There you go. I, Got out that, that, is, nice that is seen in the... Uh, in the equation of North. As it exactly! Like, There's proof in the many, pudding! How many looks have you pulled off there? And if you go on to our channel, our social media channels, you will find a video of the Chopmaster. I think that was my, uh, 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 my favourite of Chopmaster. All right. Why? Because you, 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 you had a little thing to say where like, about his do's and all that shit backstage with Carl and that, and you got to... Write it all out, did you? And had a good it laugh. Was so fucking I was talking about it. Was that was just the chop master talking? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking I about, mate. It. I watched it for the first time today. For the, the first there. time I've given it to you, like a month ago. <laughs> what a second, second, second time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was, it's the bit, there's two bits that just crack me up. Is when you go to do like the move for like, um, like for you waiting for the, it's the butcher's bit, and he goes, hey, What did you buy today? Proof. <laughs> and comedy like, timing you fucking bastard I can't fuck <laughs> and then it's the bit where there's like a whole long diatribe where he goes like I ain't on Sky Sports I said fucking uh, I ran the fucking show <laughs> <laughs> and I can even tell underneath that fucking mask you go and kick the bottom rope but you're fuming it's like a cartoony like, <laughs> like steam coming out of your ears I worked you brother I worked you I think it was the moment the moment that it started and you just hear, well, I've had a really good deal, eh? And you just, you hear the North Faithful immediately start laughing. And there's a, do you know what? When you put something like that together, when, and I'm always grateful for the North Faithful, when you put something like that together and then they start laughing, there is such a relief. There is such a relief. They're like, oh God, because sometimes my sense of humour is stupid and not everyone's in on it with me. When they start laughing, I go, oh, thank God. It it is actually funny. Well, that was my. It, I think you also see, like, even with with Carl, who's not really done anything. Unsung like, hero for that, by the way. Oh, we well, absolutely. He, he's yeah. another unsung hero of North. There's plenty of them, but he does. He does. The, he cues the music up. He's been there since show one. Like, he's done a lot of stuff that he's not like. He's come outside of his comfort zone a hell of a lot, and that was definitely him coming outside of his comfort zone again. But and you think, oh God, is Carl going to be okay doing this? Will he, you know, half ass it? And then. As soon as that mic goes live, he's like, all right. <laughs> Straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you fucking nailed it. <laughs> perfect, man. It was perfect. Great. But that's on tonight, is it? 
Yeah, so that's on tonight. I don't know when this is going to go out, but yeah, if you go on to our social media channels, you will see it on there. And if you so, like the T-shirt that he's wearing, we're going to sell that shit on merch, aren't we? Don't fuck it. Uh, we need paid as well, the front line, Nanny Chestnut, you know. <laughs> paid. <laughs> don't, make YouTube, out don't, don't make out that I don't pay you. Right. <laughs> So, okay, we're going to have some questions from some of the North Faithful. So, Glenn Donnelly on Twitter has asked us, is the June show going to be Let the Cannons Fly 3, or do you have other plans for it? Right, so this, I think this is a good question to ask. At the minute, I don't know, don't think so. I don't think it will be Let the Cannons Fly, fly 3. Unfortunately, with June, the June show is pretty much booked up with other guys already. Um, what we're looking to do, now whether I can do it or not, not 100% sure. What we're looking to do is move Let the Cannons Fly 3 to another date. Um, the Riverside have been really good. Um, I requested that we moved it to May, and they kind of said, mm, don't do May. Move it further back. And this was earlier this week. Obviously, the June show is June the 13th. We then got August the 1st, so that's not masses of time between. We might try and do one in August. We might try and do one in September. But we will shove it in somewhere. We'll get it. Yeah. And the ones at the back end, the dates haven't changed for that, have you? He's just going to keep them no. the same. No, we've got to keep all them the same. So um, fingers crossed the June the 13th show will go ahead. You know, I'm pretty sure it will. Um, but, you know, as, so just to confirm, it won't be like the Candace Fly 3. It'll be something else, which has already been booked. It's, a, it's already a really fucking good show. We're um, in this together. <laughs> mm. yeah, maybe. yeah maybe we're in this together too or 2020 um, but yeah can we call definitely... it party till you no longer have coronavirus <laughs> <laughs> I mean that, the thing is how fucking exciting is that going to be though like, oh that's what first one was I mean, I'm going to lose my voice that night right I'm going to lose my voice mm. and I'm going to get blind drunk oh big time and make big regretful time. decisions yeah 100% be there <laughs> I had planned to do that for the uh, the one that were for the WrestleMania party because I was going to get blind drunk till four o'clock in the morning. I had an excuse to stay out that late. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I know, yeah. That was a shame, that because we were all going to sit and watch WrestleMania together. And that's Purple a bear, weren't we? Yeah, um, but what you know, there will be a rush for like promotions to be the first one post Corona. Oh, let them, let, let them. Yeah. It's just, we'll we'll just be off. It will just be our first all show back. There's no again. It's that whole thing of there's no. Oh, we want to do this. Money else. Look, when the first all show is back, we will have a time. Yeah. Doesn't matter who does it first. If somebody else wants to do it first, It'll be rock sweet. on. It'll do be it. We'll do it when sweet. we're ready. It will. So thanks for that, Glenn. But yeah, like and like I said, just keep you know it changes fucking day by day at the minute. Like so, just keep in touch with us. Keep on the Twitter and we'll and we'll let you know. Um, another question. We'll take. I tell you what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of questions and then we're going to do one little game and then that will be it because we're going to keep these quite short. So another question. Let me have a look at it. Let me find a good one. Okay. I think one. yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought yes. that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> what was the plan for Lana Austin at Let the Cannons Fly Three? Because oh, love our obviously. Lana what we were kind of, and that comes from what we were going to get Lana. Yeah, that comes from Bow Bow Photography on Twitter. He does really good photos of North and stuff. Like that. He gave it away with you know when he was doing the um, help every wrestler out. He gave it away that it, like Lana Austin was going to yeah. appear on one of our shows. It was like one of those spoiler. things where it was like it, yeah. So we put a big mega thread of everyone who was going to be on our show. Um, you know, here's their social media links, or here's their big cartel. If you can help, please do. Um, and it was like, do I do I keep kayfabe alive and go? Well, we're not going to put you on, Lana. You've lost the booking. And it was also the young, uh, young guns as well. It's like, oh, you've lost the booking. But not... and it was like, no, fuck that. Like, let's yeah, just... share them. Like, so the plan was for those three: Lana Austin, Ethan Allen, and Luke Jacobs to be in the um, rumble. So the rumble was going to be a twenty-man rumble. It still will be if it goes through. Um, and that was the plan for them. And then obviously two were going to go through in the rumble. I don't think we'd said it uh, said it anywhere, but the plan was the final two, the the winner of the you know of the rumble would go in at number eight in the scramble, and the runner up of the rumble would go in at number one in the scramble. So that probably still will happen. Um, was Lana going to be a surprise on the night? 
I hadn't quite decided yet. Oh. It's difficult with Anna because like she's been requested so much and definitely someone that we've wanted on North an awful lot. It was like, mm. do we tell people or is it actually worth having the surprises? So I was kind of like, I was still in two minds as to whether I was going to announce anyone for the Rumble. Um, I kind of thought the way, like tickets weren't going very well. Like they went well, but like not as good as the show before. I think that was because of what was happening. What um, with the COVID and all that. Yeah, <laughs> they went really, really well. And then like COVID came in and it was like, we're not going to buy any more tickets. And bought all the balcony seats, technically. <laughs> yeah, and it was to- like it was totally fine, but on demand, so it's just gone through the roof as well. So who fucking knows? But yeah, so that was the plan for them. Um, really, really disappointed that we couldn't have them in a couple of weeks. It was only a couple of weeks away. But yeah, it would have been good to see them. So I think on that note, what we'll quickly do is um, just have a quick word about Pins and Knuckles, our merchant. Uh, oh, they're our sponsor, our second sponsor. You head to pinsandknuckleswrestlingmerch.com. You'll find a bunch of your favourite wrestling merchandise there. North wrestlers included are the Dirty Jog Gene Money. He's got like five different shirts up there. Chris Ridgway, Chuck Mambo, Flash Morgan Webster, Jimmy Havoc. Tony Storm, James Drake, Will Ospreay, Travis Banks, Zia Brookside, Simon Miller, and a bunch of other cool promotions. And guess what? Pins and Knuckles have also given us a special discount code. So you use the code NORTHPIN10 and you'll get 10% off. I'm just Very writing cool. that down. NORTHPIN10. There you go. Thank you. Is it North with an O or a zero? Oh, fucking hell, Tom. North with an O, pin with an I, a 10 pin with, with an I. one and a zero. Ten with a one and a zero. Got it. Yeah. Oh, news top stories has just popped in. All schools. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the news. I've been sitting on that button for flipping oh ages. My God. It's your bummer. Yeah. Yes. Schools across What's... the UK are shut down from as early as Friday. England. There oh, it... you go. Yeah. Oh, sh. How long for? Um, schools across England will be shut down from Friday until further notice the government has announced oh. um, well, this is a poor hey this is like Sky Sports News 24-7 some, isn't it some schools will stay open to remain uh, will remain open for the children of key workers um, so it means some youngsters if their parents are on the front line basically Fuck. porters uh, kids will go to are you on the front line Joe? yeah yeah, they'll go. Diff- they could go to different schools if they need. Yeah, what like four week? <laughs> <laughs> Dad of the year, <laughs> Dad of the year, right over there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> e, can you yeah. take our kids off this government? Because I love a lion. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Boris, the- Boris, <laughs> can you go take these hey, little Boris, bastard like, kids any top- away from me? Could you look after our kids, Lee? We'll have a night in with all us. It cost us less than frigging takeaways, I tell you. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Chop first Chinese to kids. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, well. Right, that so we've, got, jump. We've, got a, we've got a choice now of doing... We've got two two things we can do now. So we got to do, well, game one or game two? What game would you like to play? You choose, Chop. Time to play the game. Uh, two. Okay, this is our new game. The book it's called, new. it's called, and this is a working title, Gessler the Wrestler. Ooh! You're a marketing genius. You know, like, <laughs> genius. So this is Chop versus Tom. You get ten clues. Okay. So, you got to shout out. You get one. So you get one guess each per clue. You got to shout "brother" to guess. Actually, Tom, you shout. Can brother. I have the gunshot instead? You can have the gunshot. Yes. You you can shout "brother," Tom. I'll shout "brother." You get one guess per clue. If you don't get it right, I win. House wins by the end of the ten clues. All right. So clue <coughs> number one. Ladies first, Tom. Okay. Thanks, mate. Shit for the show. No, 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 oh wait, no, no. that, that, each, that each doesn't benefit clue, me either. Each Damn clue it. you can guess. You can guess in each clue. It's not it's not take turns. So if I'm reading out a clue and you want me to stop the clue and take a guess, 
you've got to shout. You've either got to do that stupid gunshot. So are you just thing. doing the quick fire round from a question to north? That's basically what it is. He's ripped your game. Kind of, but you've got to guess who the person is. Oh, that's is. fine. That's fine. I, I, saw a po- I saw a podcast on Twitter going, coming up this week, we've had some ideas for new shows. Desert Island Graps. <laughs> are you... What, no, like, yeah. like, like the Brit Wrestling is Dead podcast uh, with, yes. with uh, Rory, Rory, Rory friggin' uh, Kyle on the, on the interview? What yeah, the what big ripper that is. is dead. Bet they're Rory not playing Gessler going. the Wrestler. I bet they're not. <laughs> Better they are next week. So I'm going to read out the. Yeah, with fucking special guest Chop. <laughs> hey, if he's paying his own He sucks off the sun, like! <laughs> Okay, so have you got it? You both allow you both allowed to guess on a on a clue. Whoever shouts out, I'll stop, and you can guess at each clue. You get a guess. You get a guess each clue, right? So, right, first clue. I was born. I was born January twenty fourth, nineteen sixty five. Ric Flair. You fucking didn't do your sound. <laughs> Ric Flair. No. Okay. Next sixty-five. Clue. Next clue. Okay. You've both got you've got your you've got your guesses back now. I was I am the cousin of Hulk Hogan's nephew, Michael Belair, aka Horace Hogan, and I was married to my Oh Chop. Brutus Beefcake. No, it's not. So you shut your mouth, Chop, yeah. okay, Tom? <laughs> the rest of this clue is, I was married okay. to my childhood sweetheart, Diana Bowers, in 1991. So I'm the cousin of Hulk Hogan's nephew, Michael Belair, a.k.a. Horace Hogan, and I was married to my childhood sweetheart, Diana Bowers, in 1991. David Boy Smith? No. Okay, clue three. I trained, I was in the same class, alongside... Dennis Knight, a.k.a. Naked Midian. Brother. Yeah. Is it Christian? Ooh, no. We got okay. there, though. Any ideas, Chop? You got a guess on that clue? No. This, this silence is great for podcasts. <laughs> it's good in here. The silence is powerful. <laughs> Big fan of silence in radio. Genuinely, I have. Right. Clue four. In 2000, I won the title of Worst Gimmick in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards, but I also became seven, I came seventh in the PWI 500. Worst Gimmick. Disco Chop. Inferno. No. Good guess, though. Shit. Your camera's off, though, Chop. I know, because someone tried to friggin' ring us. Well, from Doncaster worst worst gimmick and in the PWI 500 in, in 2000 seven. in 2000 I in 1999 Brad Armstrong Ooh, good guesses but wrong mm. right clue 5 earlier in my career it was early in his career I moved to Japan and wrestled under the name the gladiator for F. I know this I know this, Thomas. Damn, Mike I got it as well. Awesome. Wow! He won it, Chop wins. Well done, Chop. <laughs> so I'll tell you the rest of those clues. Early in my career, I moved to Japan and wrestled in the name The Gladiator for FMW, debuting as a monster villain in a street fight with Mr. Pogo versus yeah. Atsushi Yonita and Jimmy Backland. Number six was my ties to Japan were followed throughout my career, being convinced by Sabu to wrestle for ECW and becoming friends while we were out there. Number seven was a feud with Masato Tanaka and won the ECW title from the third longest holder of the belt in a triple threat match. I competed in ECW, WCW, TNA and WWE, but he only won one belt. Do you know what that belt was? In ECW? He, which... he competed in ECW, mm-hmm. WCW, TNA and WWF. Actually, he won the ECW. Yeah, um, I was going to say. But only won one other belt. Was that the WCW um, Hardcore? It was the belt? WWF Hardcore Championship. It was. In June 2001, after the purchase of WCW by WWF, I debuted on an episode of Raw in a match that saw Test defending his Hardcore Championship versus Rhino. I became the first member of the Invasion to gain gold in the WWF. Good night. Oh. 
And his last clue, which I think would have been a giveaway, a debut for WCW while still holding the ECW championship before appearing at an ECW event a few days later, losing the title to a WWF employee who in turn lost the belt two weeks later to a full-time ECW employee. Do we you know are coming up were? to the... Yes, it was Taz and Mike Awesome. Yeah, and it, and and it was held. Taz lost it, mm-hmm. Tommy Dreamer, who then lost it immediately to Just Incredible. And he tri- he had a match with Triple H on SmackDown with the belt, Taz did. We're coming up to the 20th anniversary of that. Mm-hmm. No fucking happening. way. Spo- yeah, it was in 2000 that happened. Mm-hmm. Spoiler. It wasn't Valentine's Day, was three- it? No, it wasn't. That's a special milestone for you there, Chuck. <laughs> uh, spoiler, I'm doing a three-part documentary series on that for Cultaholic, which drops on the, on the 20th anniversary. It's called Three Days in April. And it's uh, a three-parter that that goes into depth about what happened, who it happened with, why the bloody hell it happened, why was he doing that, why did they do that, what's that there? That's soon. That's that's Started started writing it last week, I'm very excited about it. That will be really fucking cool, because I read through that, and that was was Henry on Instagram who suggested that. So we're going to play that game again. Yeah, definitely. One nil. One nil chops. And I'm going to make it fucking harder next time. Because you guys know your <laughs> shit. Well, the only reason I got Gladiator is because I used to get the tape trading years ago. Well, so I knew yeah, Gladiator yeah. was Mike Awesome and I picked up on that straight away. Who are you tape trading with? Oh, it's just, you know when you used to get the torrent sites? When the first, right, there's a torrent site called Extreme Wrestling Torrents. Yes. And that's yes. been going Banned for like that, right? fucking years. Mm. And that's where I used to get all like my early days of torrents on like, um, oh, what was the old thing called? Comet, BitComet. Do you remember BitComet? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I used to download Vaguely. them like 2005 Ring of Honor a lot on that one. <laughs> but like teenagers, you top guys of just shout about all your illegal actions. But I didn't. I didn't. Um, I did. Yeah, that's true. Actually. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't seed. So I used to get. I used to get kicked. <laughs> yeah, I've had about 20 <laughs> different emails. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. I had an affair, anyway, but right, I, okay, didn't, so... I didn't come. <laughs> you must have come once. <laughs> oh, it's very rude. <laughs> Right then, I think there that's it. Uh, I think that's on that note. yeah for the first episode. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. We're done. We'll do you not want to do an outro like Bowser? Just you say like, hey, "Fuck you." See you later. You should do an outro. Do I an outro for the done. episode. Was... Okay. Episode, so episode nine. Out, I guess it's episode nine. Episode nine, but it's kind of episode one of Corona virus Update. updates. Uh, it's Dunzo. You can find us at North Wrestling NCL on Facebook and YouTube, North underscore NCL on Twitter and Instagram, NorthWrestling.pivotchair.com to subscribe to our on demand service. You can email me at Andrew, dot, Andrew at NorthWrestling.co.uk for any correspondence. Big thanks to Grapple Clothing, Pins and Knuckles, and to you, the North Faithful. He knows where to point there. There you wow. go. <laughs> I love you. Wrestling Mania is that me? Wrestling Mania. Wrestling Mania.